Hey everyone, I'm Instructor Brooks. I want to thank you for supporting my channel. Make sure you hit subscribe to join our community. Today I'm going to discuss everything you need to know about the toe-off phase of gait, and then you get that test question at the end. So if you're ready to learn something, let's go. every phase of the gait cycle, you should consider three joints. Ankle, knee, and hip. That doesn't mean that there's a muscle contraction occurring at every joint, but it's a great way to make sure you don't forget one. One of the biggest things that most students forget is they think about the ankle and the foot when they're thinking about the gait cycle, and as they go through it, they do everything right for the ankle, but they forget either the knee or the hip. So if you always say, I'm gonna look at the ankle, the knee, and the hip, you're always gonna be hitting all the joints that you need to hit at the bare minimum. The fifth phase of the gait cycle is toe off. Let's take a closer look and apply our strategy of ankle, knee, and hip. First, looking at the ankle, there is still a concentric contraction of the gastroc to propel the leg through the swing phase of gait. Moving on up to the knee, we will not see any real contraction of the hamstrings or quads. Finally, at the hip, there should be a concentric contraction of the hip flexors to pull the leg forward into the swing phase. Here comes that test question. During toe off, if there is weakness of the iliopsoas and psoas major, which of the following is the most likely gait deviation we might see? A, a weak glute max gait. B, compensated Trendelenburg gait pattern, C, foot slap, D, circumduction. The answer is D, circumduction. If the hip flexors cannot propel the leg forward, then the person will compensate with the TFL and glute medius to circumduct the lower extremity through the mid-swing phase, as you see here. You could see other deviations such as hip hike and vaulting. I hope you learned something from this video. Don't hesitate to post questions in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram at Instructor Brooks. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and become part of our community. If you got all that covered, have an awesome day. And remember, knowledge is power.